Eight dollars for a one hour massage? Yes, sign me up, please. Today, I'm giving myself a budget of $60 to see how far it will go in Bali. Selfie with the monkey, $3. Sure, this place is a lot cheaper than Paris or New York, but I want to try some new things. So I'm giving myself a bigger budget than you might expect. This is Bali. In today's challenge, I'm exploring the area of Ubud, which is famous for its rice fields and relaxing and spiritual vibes. I'll be meeting monkeys, cats, and experiencing a yoga class like never before. In the past, I did a $30 day in Bali's Changu, which is known for its surfing and social scene. But here in Ubud, it's all about going inwards. For breakfast, I head to this cool restaurant which has epic views of rice fields. This restaurant is called Paisen, and it's in the heart of Ubud. I order this fresh fruit bowl, which comes with nuts and yogurt. The price, $4. Next, I head to the Cat Cafe of Ubud. If you've never been to a cat cafe before, stop what you're doing and Google the nearest one because they are pretty magical. This place has an entry fee to enter. The price to enter, $1. And I order a ginger tea. Ginger tea, $1. I've been to a few cat cafes in this world, but I can't remember any where they just come and lay on you. And there's also a lot of cats here, and it's kind of cool because I have the place to myself. There are more than a dozen cats at this cafe, and unlike cat cafes I've visited in the past, I will say that these ones are actually super outgoing and friendly. After hanging out for about 30 minutes, it's time to move on. I go to Ubud Raw Chocolate Factory. This is an all-organic cacao factory that makes amazing chocolate using raw cacao and coconut. I made a whole separate video that you can watch about that. But it's such a cool experience. Before I leave, I buy one of their famous pure and raw bars and the price is $2. Okay, all this chocolate has me hungry, so it's time for lunch. I head to this restaurant called Warung Semesta. Warung means a small family restaurant in Indonesia. This place has a variety of fresh and organic dishes. I start off with this. This is called Detox Juice and it includes cucumbers, carrots, celery, beetroot, apple, ginger, and lime. $2. That tastes delicious, super fresh. Next, Next, I order a starter, which is this spring roll, and it includes fresh avocado, papaya, bean sprouts, cucumber, lime, and honey. The price, $2. A bit messy to eat, but really nice. Super, super fresh. And for my main meal, I get this vegetarian dish. Even though I'm not a vegetarian, in Ubud, I somehow feel like eating vegetarian. Maybe it's just the vibe of the island. This is a vegetable and tofu yellow curry, which has a variety of fresh veggies and a coconut milk curry sauce. It's served with rice and tastes delicious. $3. That was a very delicious lunch. One thing you need to know about coming to Bali and especially Ubud is a lot of the food, a lot of the ingredients is grown here on the island. So the food, it tastes so good. Even though I've had food like this before, what made it so different is the freshness of the food. It's absolutely delicious. Next, I walk to what's called the Monkey Forest. The price to enter this park is $5. I just entered and there are so many different rules here. It says, don't look them in the eyes. You're not allowed to bring any food or drink because they'll definitely go for it, even your bottle of water. So it's uh, kind of crazy because these are monkeys, but um, you have to get briefed all these rules about like what you can and cannot do. Now, this is a famous park in Bali known for hyper and rowdy monkeys. I've heard that they will literally take any food or drinks you have, so it's best to not enter with even a bottle of water. This is a really crazy experience to walk around amidst all these monkeys just chilling everywhere. And I'm not gonna lie, it can be a bit intimidating with all of these rules. The biggest sign I keep seeing is do not look in the monkey's eyes because that is a sign of aggression. That is a sign that you are trying to, uh, to attack maybe or, um, but I've seen the monkeys attack a couple people already. Remember, this is not a zoo. There are wild animals and anything goes here. Okay, so I see people kind of playing with monkeys, but then upon further investigation, I realize actually they are taking selfies with the monkeys. Yes, selfies. So here's how it works. You sit down, a worker lures a monkey over with corn. They sort of train the monkey to hold onto it for a second or two to give the illusion that the monkey is taking the photo. I know this is so ridiculous and kind of weird, but honestly, I do it anyway. Selfie with the monkey, $3. And look how funny these photos turned out. I never thought I would pay to take a selfie with a monkey. I also never thought I would take a selfie with a monkey. So it was definitely worth the experience. By now it's time to leave. So I walk 10 minutes to this place called Bure Pijat. This is a little family owned place. And here's how it works. It starts with a one hour massage. The price is $8. That one hour massage was so relaxing. I kind of feel like going to sleep right now. 
but I'm excited to try the Bora and the sauna. After the massage, you're feeling relaxed, so they apply this well-known herb all over your body. Bora originated hundreds of years ago for Balinese rice farmers. Basically, after a day in the hot sun working on the farms, they were tired and had a headache. So they would mix these herbs together and apply them all over their body. It's all natural, nothing comes from a bottle here. And it's supposed to warm tired muscles and stimulate blood circulation. All right, so once the Bora was spread all over the body, now it's time to actually go inside the sauna and it's so cool because the sauna is all natural wood burning to create the heat. So now I'm gonna go sit in the sauna for maybe 10, 15 minutes and then um, apparently the effect should take place. So after 20 minutes, the Bora actually absorbs into your skin and it feels amazing. I really can actually feel my blood like circulating and moving. Um, it felt an amazing experience. They say you can do it up to 30 minutes. Um, I lasted about 20 minutes. Now I gotta go rinse this off and take a shower. The price of the Bora plus the steam room experience $8. By now I'm craving a fresh coconut, so I order one after the relaxing experience. The price is $1. Okay, now the sun is setting and it's time for dinner. I go to this restaurant called Atman Cafe. It's such a vibe with many people sitting on raised flooring instead of chairs. Everyone here seems super zen and so am I. For dinner, I order this. It's called nasi goreng. You can consider this the national dish of Indonesia. It includes rice, veggies, and I get mine with chicken as the meat option. The price, $4. It tastes delicious and it's a staple here. Okay, by now it's dark and there's one place left to go here in Ubud that is kind of famous. This is called Yoga Barn. It's a well-known studio with many yoga and meditation classes. This place even has its own restaurant. This is a massive, massive yoga studio. They have so many different places where they host classes. On average, a class here will cost you about $10, but overall it's a really beautiful vibe and uh, they have restaurants, they have places for massages, they even have places for you to sleep um, if you wanna use the hotel option. I pay for a special event, which is $16. This is a class where you do kirtan, which is a kind of chanting and singing in a yoga studio. And then it's followed by a sound bath meditation. The whole thing lasts for two hours, and let's just say this is such a unique way to spend my night. I'm feeling super zen. That was really a relaxing experience. Even if you're not super into yoga or meditation, if you come to Bali, I highly recommend you take a class or two because the yoga and meditation here is really next level. So there, I did it. I spent $60 in one day in Bali. If I wanted to spend $60 back home in the US, I wouldn't even be able to afford a massage, let alone all the food and experiences with monkeys and cats too. Check out more of my episodes like the $30 day in Chenggu of Bali or $20 day in Jakarta or $100 day in Paris. While you're at it, check out more of my videos and find me on TikTok and Instagram at Upton.